I'm sorry, what in the helicopter is going on in my office? What the f Hey guys, it is Jessica, aka Player Tap that Eight, and we are back with another Not So Berry episode, and it is Harvest Fest. We are so excited. Now, at the end of our last episode, we welcomed the newest Berry member to the family, our little Juniper Berry, who is currently crying in the bedroom, and I guess mom's gonna take a nap. That's not what we do here, mom. I got you, baby. Dad took off to hop on the computer. Now, it is a holiday, so he doesn't have school. Cool. Neither does little Rosie, but we do have a few Harvest Fest things to do. We need to decorate. We have already started. We need to cook, but it's okay. Dad is the chef of the family. We need to spend some time in our thankful spirit, and we also need to bake some things. So let's get on it. I realized what the problem was. I had to scoot the baby crib up a little bit. Mom couldn't get to the baby. Duh. Jalen's university term begins today and will last for five weekdays. Okay, so we can at least do our homework, even if he's not going to go to class today. Oh, dad has the right idea he's got cookies on the brain what are you doing rosie oh i don't know dad's digging it though don't encourage her we will send dad in here to bake let's make some pre-mixed brownies that's all we really know how to bake right now <laughs> i am gonna send rosie out to the park she loves the little park next door and it's literally just right next door mom is outside hanging out with nala can you give her a bath and what is <gasps> Ew, what is that? Caesar, what are you doing here, dude? It's, n what, what, um, wait a second. Rosie, you gotta come home. This is weird, man. This is weird. Oh, never mind, he's leaving. Okay, good, she doesn't have to leave. Woo, thank you. He was just trying to see if our mom was here. She's not here, dude, and she's not into you anymore. Ooh, mom is over here feeling flirty. Oh, and Rosie made a friend. You are Jackson Winston II. You're so cute. Oh, and the boy can dress. Let's see if he wants to hang out and play. It'll be so much fun to have somebody to play with while the parents are cooking and everything. Ooh, social level eight. You little social butterfly, you. Yeah, we're gonna hang. Oh, she just keeps going to sleep everywhere. I wonder if she's not feeling well. Dad, you just woke her up. Why you gotta turn on the TV right now? Look, even Nala is saying, what the heck, Dad? I'm gonna send Mom in here to check on the baby. Ooh, Dad came in for the save. Thank you. I hope Mom's getting some rest somewhere. Mom is exhausted, but you just, what you what did you make? Oh, plantains. Love it, Mom. Wait a second, it says dad's class is gonna start in an hour. No way they make him go to class today. Well, it, they better not anyways. Oh, and look at dad's brownies. Oh, they're, they're amazing, they're excellent quality. There you go, champ. Oh my goodness, mom's asleep outside now. What in the world? Oh my gosh, they actually made dad leave for class. What the heck? Okay, well, mom is finally sleeping in a normal place at least. Okay, Nala, no. Oh, I think she's hungry. Here, Rosie, uh, come over here and give Nala some food. Wow, she got over here really fast. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Rosie. I appreciate you, little one. What are you doing in my house, person? Sorry to come by unannounced, but I couldn't wait any longer because I wanted to see the baby. Do you need any help? You just gave birth. What the heck? Oh, we were hungry and this girl knew it and came over to make us food, but you're making us something we can't eat because we're vegetarian. Well, that's not the most helpful. Oh, don't worry. Mom's flipping got it though. Look at her skills. Oh, <gasps> what? What? Mom's a pro? Wait, and this girl's gonna come help with the baby? No way. Is she really a godsend? Wait, what? And Rosie went to school. What the heck is going on? Oh no, she went to her drama class. Dad's back home and apparently getting in the pool. Not mad at it. And Nala has eaten all of her food and officially passed out on the floor. All right, now I'm gonna give mom a chance to bake something. Ooh, mom's got a little bit better baking skill than dad. Why don't we bake some bread to go along with the grand meal that I'm also gonna have dad make? So dad, let's come in here and make a tofurkey dinner to make sure that mom can actually have some this year. It would not be the first time we had a holiday and accidentally made something that our mom could not even eat. Ooh, level three baking, here we go. I'm sorry, what in the helicopter is going on in my office? What the, no, this is, okay, you know what, it's Harvest. 
harvest fest, the more the merrier. Let's just be thankful we have people who enjoy coming over to our house to hang out. But, Dad, can you also come and lock this computer right now? Everyone but the household. I'm sorry. It is no longer your computer, ladies and gents. Ooh, Rose is back home from drama club. Why don't we give our friend Jackson a call? I have a feeling that kid is probably in our drama club with us. Look at this beautiful loaf of bread mom made. The fact that Rose has a cell phone this young is just, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, please get out of our trash can. Thank you. <gasps> Don't tell me you're gonna leave this on the floor. Do not tell me you are going to leave this on the floor. And she left it on the floor. Great. <laughs> Dad is having a blast in here on the stove. Dad is almost done making the delicious Harvest Fest dinner. And mom and Rosie's birthday are both tomorrow. And then our little one ages up into a toddler the day after. It is going to be a busy weekend indeed. Good job, dad. Hey, I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor and I appreciate your kindness and friendship. Of course I want to see what it is, Mr. Landgrab. Oh, you're at the door. Jalen, let's come see what he needs. Oh, he got the gift for mom. You know, now that I'm pretty much done with what I wanted to do here, do you mind if I hang out for a bit? Oh, of course. Oh, I see. He was just trying to get in on our Thanksgiving dinner. He smelt the tofurkey. He gave us gummy bear pancake. I'm sorry, what? At least he brought a dish. I'm sorry, where are the gummy bear pancakes? <gasps> oh my gosh, he brought gummy bear pancakes to Harvest Fest dinner. That's pretty adorable. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. All right, so I had mom change her outfit and I'm gonna have her come over here and call to Grand Meal so that we can all sit down and enjoy an amazing Harvest Fest dinner together. Now here's the real question. Is it just gonna call our family or is it gonna call absolutely everyone who decided to show up on this beautiful Harvest Fest? Okay, well Bjorn's taking a seat lovely or he's just taking bread and running he's he's taking bread and going to the living room oh okay okay all right well apparently our bread is a hit it's the only thing anyone's taken yet mom needed a minute so i guess she's going to sit outside but also it's awkward because we went on a date with bjorn but we didn't know he was married but then maybe it wasn't really a date it was a really rough time and then everyone at the bar was like fighting each other it was awkward Rosie grabbed some. Look at her cute little Harvest Fest dress. I feel bad, but Bjorn brought over these pancakes and no one is having a single flippin' pancake. <gasps> Look at Nala sitting back here on her little dog bed. Oh my gosh, she's so stinking cute. Well, she's little. The dog bed is not. Rosie is cleaning up all on her own. I did not even ask her to. Why? Why? Why, Sims, must you use the bathroom sink? What an exciting year this has been. Has been. I cannot believe it's already Harvest Fest time again in the Barry household. Rosie is going to be a teenager tomorrow. We're going to have another toddler. Ugh, I just cannot believe how fast the year has gone by. Well, what a beautiful Harvest Fest this has been. I am going to have Rosie clean up the dishes. I am going to have dad go check on the baby. Mom's helping herself to another plate of food. You go, mom. You earned it. Thank you, dad. I appreciate you. And we have got to put all of this food up. What a crazy Thanksgiving dinner this was. We had gummy bear pancakes, courtesy of Bjorn. Thank you so much. We had tofurkey for mom. And we also had bread made by mom. Delicious. Rose has the best manners, I swear. I don't even know. She's probably in the range for the responsibility trait. Look at her manners. Look at her responsibility. Oh, through the roof. No wonder she does this all. Oh, but she doesn't have great conflict resolution. We'll, we'll see what happens when we get older. But we are going to be a politician. So we'll see. I am going to make sure dad is working on his homework. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at Nala. I am going to let mom go out for a jog around the neighborhood. See if she can't run off some of those calories and stretch her limbs. She loves a good run. Rose has to go to the bathroom and then I am going to go ahead and send her off to bed. It is almost Juniper's birthday. We know. Mom always looks so cute in her workout gear. So adorable. And she's done. Right as I say it. I love that these two are just hanging out on the couch together. So stinking precious. She is so beautiful. Now I want to be able to do something really fun for mom and Rose's combined birthday. So I am going to go ahead and age up Juniper first. And it is 3.33 in the morning. Everyone needs to get a little bit of shut eye. But when we wake up, we are going to celebrate Juniper's 
first birthday. Mom is fast asleep, baby is nice and quiet, dad's finishing his homework, Rosie's asleep, and mom is apparently having a good dream. Everyone is fast asleep now, getting some good rest before an eventful weekend ahead. Mom is the first one up and she finally looks energized for the first time in this entire episode. Still got the cutest PJs ever. Let's come over here and cuddle and snuggle our little baby before they become a toddler. Dad is over here snuggling with little Juniper before her birthday also. Oh, mom put a load of dishes in the dishwasher. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I forgot it was Friday. Rosie has school. Oh, her dad's seeing her off. Look at him go. Oh no, we did the wrong homework. We did the homework that's due in five days, not the one that's due in three hours. <gasps> Let's see what we can get done. Work for mom will start in about an hour. We will throw a light little birthday party for little Juniper when we get home from work today. We just had our 15th breakthrough. Heck yes, mom. All right, it is time to go off to work with mom. Let's go. Woohoo, back at work. First day since the baby. Let's see what our employees have been up to. Ooh, and we are in the zone. Yes. All right, so we need to upgrade our sim ray to mind control to sleep. I thought we already did that, but let's put the sim ray down. Let's come over here and see. Upgrade the sim ray. Mind control to sleep. Oh, okay. Let's go. Oh, good to see you, old friend. We also need to go and work out on the treadmill for 30 minutes, and that's just right upstairs, so we can go do that anytime. Dad is off to class. Oh, wish him good luck. I'm not sure how much of his homework he got done. He only got 50% of it done. Tag Nabbit. And then he didn't get any of this. Oh gosh, this is not a good start. Mom, this is not the time to vacuum. And where do you even store this thing on your person? Hello, Uku Panipo. Let's go talk to him, see what he's up to. And then let us mind control you to clean because the office is a wreck. Oh, I'm sorry. Did it hurt your ears? Ha ha ha. So evil. Oh, we need to upgrade our satellite dish. Why is there a little alien face next to it? But I'll, I mean, I'll do it. All right, we'll pop it down right there. Oh, I gotta, I gotta drag it onto the thing. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, let's upgrade our satellite dish. I wonder how many aliens we'll be able to contact now. And then of course we broke the machine. All right, well, we need, we need to fix you. Let's, ooh, an expert repair. Ugh, don't mind if we do. All right, well, we're gonna give our buddy here a little repair really quick. And then we need to make a sim ravenous with our mind control device. You know, I haven't seen anyone else other than Uku Panipo. <gasps> As I say it, hello, Supriya. Let us mind control you to eat, eat. Doesn't, it doesn't sound very deadly. It, it just does, oh, Uku Panipo's like, who left this mess here? That was us, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know we trashed the place. Thank you, oh gosh. Why'd you even complain if you were just gonna clean it up anyways? Why didn't you just clean it up? You just had to show me up, didn't you? Look at you strutting away. I see you, I see you. I don't even feel bad about mind controlling you then. Now we're coming upstairs to the gym. We don't use this gym often, but we do love that our office has it anyways. You know, it's important to maintain a fit lifestyle. Although we could use with a better gym. I mean, this is our view. Look at this, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty sad. And it's out of this tiny, tiny window. Like, what if you're short? This is really not the time to vacuum, Mom. This floor is disgusting. And once again, I beg the question, where do you keep the vacuum? Now, when Mom gets done, we are going to come down here. And I know, Uku Panipo, we are not done with you. You are now ravenous. Oh, let me grab my little satellite thing off of here before I leave it. And then we will come out here to Alice because you are the only other person that we can mind control to eat. Everyone will be starving. We should bring food with us next time we do this. Who should walk in but the beautiful Miss Kara? And she's doing the potty dance. Let's mind control you instead. Alice has receptionist work to do. Ha 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 ha. We are so adorably evil. I love it. All right, now workday is gonna end. So we're just gonna come over here and brainstorm a little bit. See if we can't just gain a little more knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Maybe have a breakthrough. You never know. We made almost $1,700. Go mom. Back home after an amazing harvest fest, an amazing day at work, and now time for our little baby's birthday. Since dad is the better chef, I am going to send him in here to make a birthday cake for us. Oh, 
we're getting an invitation to go over to a friend's house and hang out, but we can't. It's our little sister's birthday. Let's send our friend a text and at least thank her for inviting us. Let's go ahead and text all of our friends. Mom, come in here and get some last minute baby snuggles and change that diaper, please. Dad finished the cake. Now our infant cannot actually blow these candles out, but that's fine. We can use the cake also for mom and Rose's birthday. So we do already have a cake with candles all set. Now let's go into the room and age up our little baby. Mom's vacuuming. <laughs> Of course. All right, little Rosie, are you ready to see your toddler sister? Everybody's in here. Everybody's ready. Oh, little Juniper aged up. Let's go ahead and make you a silly. Oh my gosh, and it actually already made her really darn cute, but you know what we're gonna do. Let's take her into Create a Sim. Here is our adorable little Juniper Berry as the game made her pretty darn cute. We're just gonna do a little bit of editing. Now this was the blonde hair that she came with, but given what her natural skin tone is, I think I wanna go for something a little bit softer. Okay, I really like this hair on her. She's so sneaking cute. Okay, now what is your style going to be, Juniper? This little girl is so precious, I can't even stand it. Oh my gosh, I kind of love this little outfit it put her in, but I have just the thing for her to go to sleep in. Winter time is coming, so these are kind of perfect for her. I gave her this beautiful dress for her party gear. She has her adorable little kitty cat sunglasses to top off her swimwear outfit. And I figured an adorable little summertime outfit, nice little jumper. And as much as I want to take credit for this adorable little outfit, all I really did was change the pants and it had already put her in this. She looks so stinking cute. Little Miss Juniper Berry, you are so stinking cute and welcome to the family, dear. Oh, back home and look at all the girls being so stinking adorable. Oh, this is so flipping precious. I cannot believe that we are now officially a family of four. Well, five if you count little Nala over here. My goodness, how the family has grown. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here, you guys. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys all live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Bye.